I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The Athanasian Creed with the Dean. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. Get the app. If you love our videos, like our, our, um, our YouTube videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, and donate. Oh wait, pick up the app too. You can get it on iTunes, Google, Amazon. Donate though today. Your tax deductible gift keeps higher things. A youth organization all about the gospel keeps us and rolling. I'm gonna get that down sooner or later. Today, oh, you could make it a Friday thing. Friday with Finker, no. Lunch with the Dean, no. Fridays with the Dean, fun Dean Fridays. What could we call it? We have Aaron Finker. He's the pastor, at, pa pastor. He's the first ever, oops, that wasn't what I needed to do. Vicar and higher things. He is also, where are you pastor at now, pastor? Oh. I am at uh, Bethlehem and Emmanuel Lutheran churches in Bremen, Kansas. All I know is that you are the first ever de uh, first ever vicar in higher things, and you are the dean of theology, which means it's it's the it's the title given to the person with the most impressive beard. Um, yeah, there's I more than enough beard to go around. Yes, yes. Okay, so this weekend's Trinity Sunday. Uh, folks that are returning to church or watching the tr uh, the services online get to say the Athanasian Creed. So tell us a little bit about tell Thor and I a little bit about. Thor and me, a little bit about the Athanasian Creed and where it came from. Well, that's, uh, it's certainly the longest creed. So, that, you know, when you go back to church, uh, you know, it's going to seem super long, isn't it? You're like out of practice, like you're used to the, you know, sitting at home, getting church in like 20 minutes or less. And then you go to church, it's like an hour. And then you're like, this creed is going to take the whole service. <sighs> that's going to be a little rough, huh? It'll be okay. It's a good gift in the Athanasian Creed. Uh, not, it's uh, named after uh, Athanasius, who was a pastor and then a bishop uh, in Alexandria, and he died about, oh, 375 or so. Um, he was a faithful pastor who confessed the Trinity, and so this, uh, this creed bears his name, though he didn't write it. Um, normally, it's sort of – its its name is similar to the Apostles' Creed. Um, the Apostles' Creed, you know, due to tradition, was written by the Apostles, so that's how it got its name. Um, likewise, the Athanasian Creed kind of bears his name, even though he didn't write it, but it definitely is his his theology. And um, he he uh, he led an interesting life. He was exiled five times as a uh, as a faithful pastor um, to confess this creed. Um, literally was life and death to him uh, because it meant eternal life or eternal death to him, uh, the theology of this creed, because this creed confesses um, who God is and who he is for you. Uh, that's the main thing of um, – it sort of um, hedges off every escape of trying to find some other God out there who will save you. Uh, but there's only the God of the scriptures who saves you, who is, uh, as he reveals himself, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I don't know, what else you what else you want me to talk about? Well, I switched sides. I like it. Um, uh, well, there's a couple of things about this creed that I love. Um, it, really, it really lays out uh, Christology, uh, the words about Christ, his his two natures, and it also lays out the Trinity. I mean, after you say the creed, you 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 literally are like, I know the Trinity. <laughs> it's like plugged into the Matrix. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, I know ooh, that's Kung the Fu. danger, though. That's the danger. <laughs> though, oh, the here it comes. Go ahead. <laughs> the, that's the danger of this creed is that um, it tries to e express. Um, in so, sort of as many ways as possible, what the scriptures confess about the creed. But the danger is that suddenly we can say, I have the right answers, so I can wrap my mind around God, and then that's faith. But that's not faith, to wrap your mind around the right answer of who God is, um, because this is only 
the human um, definitions of, of, of who God reveals himself to be. So um, that sounds a little bit off. And so God is the way that he is and the way that he reveals himself to be. Um, he doesn't fit into our nice God box that we've laid out in the Athanasian Creed. The Athanasian Creed rather is trying to um, express in the clearest way possible how God is towards us and for us and who he is in himself. That's what I love about the Dean. <laughs> I mean, um, I found uh, it, the confessing this creed gives me language that I know is is solid. You know what I mean? Because every everybody has seen the children's sermon gone wrong with the apple. You know what I mean with the with right. the Trinity? Yeah, you know, I got mm -hmm. the Trinity. The skin of the the skin is the Father. The the spirit, the the inner parts is the Father, and the seeds are are Jesus. With this creed, you don't end up there. And if you confess it, you begin to learn just the basics of the Father's love for us in Jesus. Now, I bet you though, I bet you, I'm just gonna guess, Dean, um, that. Um, the Trinity isn't about us figuring it out, is it? The Trinity. No, the Trinity. Oh, here it goes. Go. The Trinity is the Trinity is not about us figuring the Trinity out. Um, the Trinity is about saving you. Um, Holy Trinity Sunday really is fully realized for you in the waters of Holy Baptism, because um, in Holy Baptism is the full revelation uh, of the Trinity. Uh, because that's how it was uh, at Christ's baptism. There you, um, in all of Scripture, is the clearest revelation of the Trinity, uh, where there is Christ numbering himself with the transgressors. There the Father says he is um, uh, saying that Jesus, in doing this, is his beloved Son, and there the Spirit um, comes down upon him um, as he is then the Messiah, the set apart one, the anointed one who is to go to his cross, uh, bearing the sins of the world. Um, and so when you are baptized then into the, that name, the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, there the Trinity delivers himself to you. Um, and that's what Trinity Sunday is really about, all about, because that's what the Trinity is about. It's a triune conspiracy to save you from sin, death, and the power of the devil. I usually say in this in a in a Trin Holy Trinity sermon the the, uh, the 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 Father saves us, the Son saves us, the Spirit saves us, but we don't have three saving us, but one saving us. It's all about that. That's that that that's the is that the economic and the eminent Trinity language that 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 modern right theologians there's the. Right there's the Trinity as He is in Himself and how He works uh, outwardly. Okay, so uh, and and for our comfort, He reveals Himself to save us in the sending mm -hmm. of his son. Um, for one little comment on, uh, I hate voters meetings. And uh, I take great comfort from St. Athanasius, who every voters meeting got kicked out. And then he got brought back, and then he got kicked out. And then he got brought back, he got kicked out. And he brought back, all for confessing over and against mm -hmm. the errors of, of the day that would subjugate the son, make him less than the father, make him um, confess that there was a time in which he was not, um, all those things. Um, so, so tell me about the place of the Athanasian Creed in the life of a Christian. Um, so you, you said, okay, it's not about figuring out God. It's, it's, it's not about knowing everything about God. It's, it's, it's about Jesus revealing himself in... Um, uh, the Father revealing him, revealing the Son, the Son revealing the Father and the Spirit, delivering that to us. Um, so why a creed? Especially on Trinity Sunday. Um, because, um, well, uh, it all comes down to Christ's question, who do men say that I am? And every creed um, that the church has come up with is just, is doing that. Who is Jesus? Um, and, and how does he relate to the Father? Because Jesus talks about the Father. And how do they relate to the Spirit? Because Jesus talks about the Spirit too. Um, and so every creed is doing that, is saying, is same saying what the scriptures say. And, and same saying doesn't mean, you know, we're only going to um, 
uh, use, you know, Bible passage after Bible passage. Um, Same say is going to use everything in our ability to faithfully express uh, what the scriptures are saying. And so um, we'll, we'll, uh, that's what the Athanasian Creed does. And it's one of the universal creeds, maybe not uh, I mean, it's it's kind of confessed by all of the church, um, f- drawn from the scriptures, um, uh, just much like the Ap- Apostles' Creed and the Nicene Creed are. Um, they are universal. They are Catholic with a small c. Um, that is, the church all over the world confesses it because that's what the scriptures teach, and we're we're trying to say what the scriptures say and what the scriptures don't say. Because that's a, that's an important thing to do to protect us from building up some sort of false god that can't actually save us. Nicene, apostles, Athanasian, ecumenical creeds, Roman Catholic creeds. Uh, There's a, they there, are, there, Catholic language in there, the Catholic faith, and I know some that, of our. That, go go that's ahead. Why I said small C. I didn't say big C. That would be Roman Catholic. Roman Roman Catholic is big C Catholic. This creed, like the Nicene and the Apostles' Creed, is Catholic with a small c. That is universal. That is, it's what the Church of all times and places believes at, because of what the Scriptures say. Now, uh, real quick, at the end, another thing that triggers Lutherans when they say this creed once a year is that business of good people go up, bad people go down. At the end of the creed, could you explain that a little bit to us? In a yes, well, this is just echoing Matthew uh, twenty-five, uh, sheep and the goats. Um, that's that's where it's drawing this language from. And those who are good, who have been made good, do good. And those who um, are um, are not without, who are without faith. Um, who are goats do goat things. You know, that's Matthew 25. Sheep do sheep things, goat do goats do goat things. And that's all that this creed is saying. And even if we want to, you know, the bare language, um, those who have done good will enter into eternal life. Well, if you've done good, that's because it's been washed in the blood of Jesus. The fact that you have good works to offer at all is that you've been washed and your works have been washed. Think about the mercy of God, that he looks at your works such as they are. And we have all sorts of conflicting motivations as to why we do good for someone. Maybe it's completely selfless. There's usually some sort of selfishness behind it. But what does the blood of Jesus do? Suddenly the Lord's going to look at you on the last day and say, you don't have any sins. All you have is good. And you're going to go, how is that possible? Well, all you have is good. Welcome to the kingdom. The goats, those who have done evil, all they have is evil. There is not one good thing in them in the eyes of the king. And that's all that this creed is uh, confessing here at the end. So the sheep are not bad. Is it? Never I'm mind. not even going to. No, I'm not. Oh, come on. All right. Pastor Aaron Finker serves at Bethlehem Lutheran Church and Emmanuel Lutheran Church, both in Bremen, Kansas. Bremen. Bremen. Oh, God. I'll get it right next time because there will be a next time, Dean. Um, okay. There. All right. All right. The Athanasian Creed, you're saying it this Sunday. You're going to love it. Thank you, Pastor Finker. And you're going to say it this weekend. You're going to love it. Um, you're going to confess your faith, confess the Trinity, and all that God unpacks uh, of how good he is for you in Christ. I'm Pastor George Borkart. He, he was just sleeping the whole time. And this has been another Higher Things video short with the Dean.